RF man here. Uh, tonight I'm going to do a follow-up video on the common mode choke that I demonstrated showing how you can use a common mode choke and a couple of capacitors to filter out switching frequency and ripple and noise. Well tonight I'm going to focus a little bit more on that topic. Um, but we're going to be talking about using just a simple L network. So I think we're all familiar with uh, what an L network is. We have a DC to DC converter here, and it's basically a series inductor and a shunt capacitor. So a very simple circuit. So first question is, well, how do you select the values? Okay, well, all L networks or LC circuits, this happens to be a series LC circuit. So there's a couple of basic formulas that we can apply. Okay, and a little bit about series and parallel inductance. Okay, whether it's a series circuit or a parallel circuit, it's going to have a resonant frequency. Okay, and the formula is shown right there. Uh, resonant frequency FO equals 1 divided by 2 times pi times the square root of L times C. So it's a pretty basic equation. I've built a lot of Excel spreadsheets that actually have the formulas embedded into the spreadsheet. This is a real easy way of being able to do a lot of calculations quickly. There's the formula programmed into the cell. And then here's basically when you plug in your inductance and capacitance, it'll tell you what your resonant frequency is. So all LC circuits have a resonant frequency. You have a series LC circuit and a parallel LC circuit. The difference is a series LC circuit has a low impedance at the resonant frequency and a parallel LC circuit has a high impedance at the resonant frequency. So, so what does that mean? It means if we use the series inductor with the shunt capacitor, uh, we can form a low pass filter. Okay, and the resonant frequency is basically the corner frequency for that LC circuit. So what do we mean by corner frequency? Well, I have a, a simple Bode plot here, all right, and this shows voltage over frequency. And with a low pass filter, the low pass filter can pass low frequencies, but it attenuates or suppresses high frequencies. That's all we're doing basically. So if you remember the waveforms when I demonstrated the common mode choke, and I'm going to go back and show those in a few minutes, but we had a high frequency component. In the megahertz and we had a low frequency component equal to the switching frequency that was 100 kilohertz so what we want to do is attenuate or suppress the voltage levels at those frequencies so this shows basically the roll-off right low pass filter will pass low frequencies but then it starts to attenuate the higher frequencies okay and basically you can measure this in in decibels so that's just an example of, of how these circuits work. Now what I've done here is I, I decided you, could, you can start with a known inductor and then calculate what the capacitance value should be. Okay, so all you have to do is transpose the formula, okay, to calculate C. C equals 1 divided by 4 times pi squared times frequency times frequency squared rather times L okay so so what I've done here is I said okay let me assume I'm going to use a 50 microfarad inductor and my roll-off frequency which should be far below the switching frequency so I'm going to use a thousand okay and this isn't that critical okay you can see it's significantly lower than the switching frequency okay so it tells me I need a 506 microfarad capacitor. So we're going to go to the next standard size, which would be 470. 
So if I go back to the resonant frequency formula, right, and put in those actual values, here's my inductor, okay, that's 50 microhenries. Here's my capacitor, okay, it's 470 microfarads, okay, so the roll off is around 1038 hertz, okay, so that's a very close approximation there. So we're going to build a circuit with a roll-off or a corner frequency of about a thousand kilohertz and we're going to demonstrate how that can be used to filter out high frequency and low frequency noise. Okay so here I am back at my test bench. Uh, these are the same boost converters that I demonstrated in my video showing the common mode choke. There's the common mode choke that uh, was in the last video okay so this is the same setup this is a 12 volt to 50 volt boost converter so right now I'm at about 49.9 volts or so and I've got it under 5 amp load just for test purposes and you can see there's my LC circuit so what do I have if you recall the schematic, we've got a series inductor, which is this large inductor here. This is the 50 microhenry. And then we've got a shunt capacitor, 470 microfarads. Okay, so let's look at, at this side, the input side here of the filter. That's what we're looking at now. And you basically see the same waveform that we saw in the last video. And there's my switching frequency here. And then I got my high frequency components on both the leading edge and the trailing edge. Um, again, I'm on one volt per division. So you can see six volts peak to peak of noise. Okay, so quite a bit, it's, it's quite substantial. All right. So now we have the scope probe on the output side of the LC network. Okay, let's take a look at the scope. You can see the noise level has been reduced substantially. In fact, I'm no longer on one volt per division. I had to go switch it to 500 millivolts per division. So you can see we have a couple of hundred millivolts of high frequency noise there and no low frequency noise from the switching frequency. So you can see a substantial reduction using just a single stage LC circuit. And we went through basically how it works and the type of roll off that you would get and how to do some of the basic calculations. So I hope this helps. Uh, this is a little simpler than a common mode choke. Yields about the same results, if not a little better. Um, so I wanted to make another video and just demonstrate this approach. All right, RF man, thanks.